what is good you guys it's your boy gold sharpie we're back with another fau dynasty video on college football 25 want to give another quick shout out again to my boy m hurricane 266 who brought to my attention my fps was cut in half he's helped me out a lot with the madden and, and obviously college football 25 videos so shout out to you again my man but today we got one job and one job only we got to get back in the win column we're going to be taking on temple another big american conference game but i'm actually going to just double check to see if there's any hard sells that we could do and it looks like we can so mike fowler three-star left guard we're going to do a hard sell for him as well as for matt mccollum another three-star left guard but we actually can't do that so we'll keep 25 on him for now julius Ryder looks like he can yep get a hard sell here schwab as well the updated top 25 michigan still remains the number one looking to defend their national championship they're 10 and 0 oklahoma 2 georgia 3 lsu 4 maryland 5 kansas state 6 florida 7 nc state 8 kansas 9 and bama fell to 10 for number three after their loss to lsu we got ohio state fall to purdue oregon lose to maryland maryland's having a great season players of the week yeah, Xavier Restrepo of Miami and then Nito Akpala of Boston College. Eyes and watch, Jackson Arnold is leading the way. He's at the top. You got Jalen Milrow, Dylan Gabriel, Jalen Daniels of Kansas, and then Kyron Drones of Virginia Tech. All projections, guys. We are projected to play the Canes in the Fenway Bowl. Last few videos, we've been projected to play in the Frisco, so that's changed up a little bit. Keep you all up to date and see where we're at and then just the updated 2024 college football playoff kind of snapshot they upgraded the graphics i think it makes it a little more easier to just see the whole outlook of the playoffs finally guys just a quick look at temple's roster our halfback looks pretty good actually but this is definitely a team we can beat if we just play our game Lincoln Financial Field, and it is indeed home to the 2018 Super Bowl champion Eagles. The link also is home to the Temple Owls. Today, two teams get set to square off in an interconference battle in the AAC. As we'll see, the Florida Atlantic Owls taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week. The Temple Owls. EA Sports College Football Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse. It's like in, y'all. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Going for a big play. Right throw. The bat. Good throw. It's complete. A huge pickup. And it is a. They'll give it to Johnson. Run Johnson. Run, run baby. Stadium's loud and noisy. You want to quiet him down? Run the football down the defense's throat. He's going to pass. Still looking on the move. He'll let it go down the right oh, side. Oh, thank God. Should and picked. To play like that? But sometimes you're smart to be checked down Charlie and just take something easy and not invite Run. the pass. Because we don't have it. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Back to pass. It's Fancher. Go more. Go more. Go more. Let's go. The scrimmage still at the three. Got nothing last time. Now second and goal from the three. There we go, Johnson. Way to get in there. And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back. So they gotta step up and make plays on the field. Keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Off play action. Oh, come on, y'all. We fumbled it. We fumbled it. Yes. We got it, baby. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. You've got to have better balls. It was that turnover chain, baby. The football as we'll go back to work. Can't believe they're not challenging that. They would love to stack another touchdown on. We'll take that run, though. We'll take that run. Thank you very much. They'll throw it on first down. 
Bro, good throw. If your QB can put some air on it and throw it outside of the guy, but tight coverage, but a really nice throw on that out route. The grab version and go to work with a first and goal. Looking to throw, it's Fancher. Go, BJ. That's how you execute, y'all. Come on. exciting to watch they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch if this quarterback gets through his progression david he hits you in stride he wastes no time and comes out got him throwing. sit down they're in 12 y'all they're doing that hurry up bs on third and long he has to throw for it i got him i got him don't worry stuck in reverse they hope the punt can bail them out gets the first one of the day off and hoping he's not as busy as he was in that loss last week when he kicked it four times and this is the exact start you want and the offense is playing great defense has gotten stops you're in a position now palmer to put the hammer down great catch tucker to the air it's fancher it's complete to the left Third and six. Is there anything better for a linebacker than to run on a blitz and nobody's home except the back? Such a great feeling when when the oh no terrible route. Dang it. Oh gosh, bro, are you kidding me? Into back onto the field. Too much power. Here, Jesse finding themselves down by two scores. Yeah, and their defense needs to help them out and get off the field and get them some more possessions. This offense didn't spend a lot of time on the field in the first quarter, David. I think they gotta run the ball here and try to establish some rhythm. They gotta establish something. And you're right, you'll wear your defense out. Continue. You keep getting the football back to them, to the other offense. You're wearing your defense out. You want no shot to get back in this game. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. He'll pull it on the read. So important to convert these third downs, and they get it done. They'll have it at the 42. The Owls will hustle to the line. Wants to throw on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Clark. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Here comes the offense on second down. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there. Good tackle. Him and, the defense. and he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. Wants to throw on third. Quick completion on the out route. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 32. This Temple offense putting together a nice drive. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback. Point defense, make a play. Somebody make a play. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback. Is Jones, what happened? His target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. They finally make the stop at the big run. He's ready to move those sticks for the first down. The defense going to stop the clock with the get things moving. It's first and ten. Hand off from the gun. There we go. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Last play didn't go well. It leaves him with second and 11. Defense impress coverage. Out of the gun. The inside handoff looking for a crease. Knocked off his feet, but not before he picks up six yards down to the 10. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll run play action. No, oh, sir. Good defense. Oh, yeah, stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. 
they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. Showing me Come on, baby. Down the left Come on, side. man. Is a long way to the sticks from here. They want to just keep throwing it on the move to his left. And can't believe I missed that throw. That, that's bad. Can't happen. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wide out. He's got an open man. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. Comes out throwing on first down. Fires to the wide out. that. Tip ball. He really does give his quarterback a nice option. Runs really good routes. He's got nice hands. Let's it fly deep downfield. And yes. They Huge stop. Away, the Shout out to the defense. Fourth and short in your infield goal range. What do you do here? And the punt goes. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense obviously they want to go Johnson. Down, so. Good catch. A third down and short from the 26. Grab near the sticks. It's Johnson. Downs. He's looking to throw it right down the middle. Catch. Backfield, but the hit forced the incompletion. Trying to beat the DD. Got him, baby. Got him, baby. Let's go. Inside the 15 yard line. That's how you do it. The mantra is always finished, and they're trying to do that here in the regular season with this Week 12 performance. And how about the, Gotta throw long, open. the long field all the way across the that one. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. Missed it. Oh, and he missed it. No good. Couldn't find our halftime update. Fellas, looks like we've got a terrific scene there today in Philly. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch rate. They'll start this drive with a pass. Fires to the big belt. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Temple lines up quickly. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. He's got his man. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive. Trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. They'll try to pick it Bottom, up baby. Good defense. The offense will go back to work. The handoff to Johnson. Sports across can run between the tackles, and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Able to work it. Third and long from the 42. If they can get That's some wrong, bud. That's wrong, bud. Going for it. When you're around midfield, there's not really much of a choice. Go for it on fourth down. Got it past the marker. They can't stop us. Not much of tell. He wanted that window, and he threw it through it as hard as he could. Throws a strike to the wide receiver. Gets the big fourth down conversion. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He's trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity that. to take a shot. Uh -huh. they the and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Looking for room. It's Mobley. Deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Let's get in there. Down, Put an emphasis on it, man. Put the exclamation on the game. We needed to get back on track today, y'all. This is a big game. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. 
from the gun, the running back tries to Job defense. Big time programs will want him to transfer. It ain't gonna happen though. Throughout the season, but this offense just can't find the ground game going because so far, not a lot of success. Dropping back, it's Brock. Oh. And they need to see how this playoff race is shaping up. It's an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. He wants to pass it on second down. No, sir. And it's in third down. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Trying there again. Oh, Get that ball, baby. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. Yes, sir. Country versus city when it's a country fumble, nobody around. I gotta pick that puppy up and do some damage with it. Nice job seeing the situation, scooping it up. We've seen this team in a lot of big spots over the years, but I can't think of a worse beatdown. They're trailing by 14 to it. Yes, sir. It's getting it's getting the end zone once again. It's getting the end zone once again. Let's go. Dominating performance. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. But you got to finish the deal with the run on first and goal. Touchdown, Owls! And the pummeling has started. They've now extended that lead, and they're trying to hang on for a Week 12 victory. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues. Defense play lights out. Lights out. He'll start this drive firing. And he can't 30. It'll be third and short. Back to throw. It's Brock. Get him. Leaves it with the back. Nice move to pick up yardage. They get him the yards on the ground, and what a season he's having. It's almost certainly going to be a thousand yard campaign. That second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Ron Johnson on the ground. I, I think you two knuckleheads could call plays. I mean, that's how easy it is for this offense right now. They got the ground game working. It's really Go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. The give to the back. Discards a man. Dude's a monster. Florida Atlantic comes to the line on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here. Oh, Sam. And they're going to score again. another one. Yet another touchdown. Tell him, DJ. Another one. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They... Looking to go up top on first down. Got him down. No. And more yards after contact. Come on, y'all. That's pathetic. And take it in for the touchdown. It won't have much impact on the outcome of the game, but it is a fabulous party here. The consolation prize, if you will. And this has been a rough day. You can't fault the defense, though. They played incredible today. They, they haven't had Put you clock they, on. Dang it. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game. Like they thought they right, had a good play. Ready to attack. The first down anyway. Some of the damage. Now they can take a shot on second and short. The give to the tailback. That's going to do it guys. 49 to 10, a complete game, the game we needed to bounce back from the ECU loss and another American Conference win. That was fun. That was fun. It's fun when we're just beating down opponents like we should. But George Johnson, the third player of the game, got over a thousand yards with 20 rushes, 131 yards, and four trips to the end zone. Incredible performance. Listen, man, we're eight and two. We got two regular season games left. We'll see what happens with the postseason. But if you are new to the channel and you enjoy the video, or maybe you've been back a few times but haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so before you leave. 
and everyone watching please smash the like button greatly helps out the channel truly appreciate each and every one of you we'll see y'all next time y'all have a blessed night peace